Hello everyone, I'm Senator Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here at the beginning of a new campaign in Old World Blues. So the devs of Old World Blues gave a little bit of a holiday special at the current time, late December 2019. That being said, we now have the North Pole Enclave to play as, which will be very, very fun and interesting with Senator Klaus here. Anyways, uh, let's talk about game rules. I'm going to leave off historical AI to see what happens. I don't buff anybody, including myself, whenever I play. So, we could change up the AI behavior. So, let's do load a preset. Hmm, for the game? No. Oro Blues Satan S Santa Enclave. Basically the same thing. So, Broken Coast will go down with Graven's Rule. Kaiser's Legion will try to go with Brotherhood of Mars. Chichen Itza will go with Franco. Costa Caffeinata will go Independent. Desert Rangers will try to form the Nevada Pact. Free Fighters do Blue Demon, Great Cons, Papa Khan. Mojave Chapter will try to become aggressive. New Reno will become the, an Enclave. Um, I have the Courier 6 mod installed because I want to see New Vegas eventually go Courier 6 without any input from me. So I left them on default since they don't even have it here either. Anyways, Nueva Atzlan. You can kind of already see Jaguar, Republic, Rosado, Tierra, The Fox. Tlalocan, Zapata, just because, why not? Troll Warren, Bone Snarl, Vault City, Festus. So, and not talking, let's get right into it. And I do have some North Pole Enclave coffee here with me. Mmm. That coffee tastes so good, especially drinking out of my Kaiserreich Legacy of the Veltkrieg mug from the Kaiser Cat Cinema Store. I'm not sponsored. So, Klaus awakens after hundreds of lonely Christmases filled with a void where the merry jingle jangle of sleigh bells should be heard. Senator Klaus has finally awoken from his deep freeze to fill the world with holiday cheer once more. So, we are the Enclave, which means we are very, holy crap, six research slots. Very, very technologically advanced. And we, we're quite advanced, literally advanced. We have vertebrates. And advanced power armor schematics. Yes, daddy, yes. I love the Enclave so much. They're just technologically amazing. But, uh, sure, we'll start off with land auction. Not automated warfare. I'm not using robots. Not refined warfare, because that's garbage. We could do asymmetrical warfare or conventional warfare, I believe. It'd be cool to do asymmetrical warfare with the Enclave. But, I am deciding on my manpower. And I will probably go conventional warfare, just because for trooper warfare, <clears throat> we do use less supply, which is very nice. I like that for power armor, as well as a slight increase in special forces cap multiplier, and more population. I want more population playing as the Enclave. Any Enclave. We get more soft attack, hard attack. Uh, mechanized warfare is okay. They use more supply. Tanks. I don't use tanks. They use up to 4%, up to 6% more supply. I don't like that. We're going to go with conventional warfare for this one. Uh, industry, engineering, Ohm's Law, always do that. Combat language is pretty good. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, work as needed. Work assignments. I don't like that one. Even though it does give us 5% more max factories in a state, eventually we'll have enough states so it doesn't even matter. And I don't like debuffs. I really hate debuffs. Do that. Uh, organize agriculture, and then we already have a lot of this resource stuff done. Nice. Oh, I know exactly what we need. We need the build electricity. That's going to be key to our success. We got the land doctrine, infantry stuff. We're using basic weaponry for now, which is fine. I'm going to go ahead and do militia training, because we could probably recruit some soldiers. Obviously, we have some power armor that we could eventually train the tank combat with. Not bad. Light robots, no thank you. I'm not going to train any robots. You know why? We start off with literally no military factories. I have seven dockyards, but literally no military factories. So, triremes, good luck. Uh, we'll build you in the frozen isles. And because we will be using power armor, and it's suggested from me to you, you do this, use power stations. Just because you won't have time, ooh, Santa's workshop to build civilian factories or military factories, really? Yeah. These power stations are almost, almost the same cost as civilian workshops, but you're going to need a lot of energy cells for, if you know what happens. I'm not even going to train any divisions right now. Dockyards, oh, longboats, doesn't really matter. We don't have, we don't have resources. But let us begin the game, because there, I literally have no army. 
Mr. Klaus, Senator Klaus, has no army to speak of. We have about 10,000, 10 10.5,000 core population, and Klaus awakens before the war with the greatest carol ever sung, an unknown and relatively minor senator was invited to join the Enclave. Despite his meager political prowess, he was a charismatic and jolly husband who loved the holidays and his people, the American people. He was an intellectual sort and regularly inspected some of the Enclave's finest research labs. On one such visit, however, he was infected with the new plague and condemned to a hazmat suit. Desperate for a cure, he pleaded with his superiors to let him try the new vaccine being developed for the disease, although few of the Enclave were keen on one of their own being subjected to FEV. The voices of those who wished to use a senator as a preliminary trial of the cure eventually outweighed those who did not after being treated with the FEV, of course. The senator was sealed in cryostasis in a remote research lab in Alaska not too soon after the Great War <clears throat> began. Decades passed, and the researchers left behind to monitor the senator that had children. And those children had children. And by 2241, over 30 years ago, those children refused a call to arms issued by the Enclave. Instead, they stayed with their charge, the mysterious, frozen man with a beard as white as snow inside his frosty coffin. The FEV added brain and body addled the brain and body of the senator, which had been changing for over hundreds of years by 2277, though. When the automated system had finally decided he was free of the new plague, he awoke a different man, a changed man. What left the cryo chamber was not just any senator, it was Senator Klaus. Senator Claus. But Mr. Claus came out with a quirk. He was overly nice or naughty. Oh, I, I want to do nice, just because you get more non-core manpower and stability. But I like that war support and, uh, recruitable population is kind of nice. And, uh, let's be a little naughty, naughty. Cool. The Senator's Elves. Senator's Elves are a bit different than the Merry Elves. Claus. Claus. Claus once had. But fittingly, for an apocalyptic Christmas, they can make presents just as easily as they can rip spinal cords off the back of raiders. And with that focus, we have now our army. Now, this is a very special, special army, led by Christopher Buford. <laughs> Sounds very Enclave-like, and... Oh, uh, there, there's no guard, god dang it. Uh, something special about these divisions, we should all know immediately. They're 27 and a half combat width. Holy cow, that's thick. That's too thick, to be honest with you. Uh, that's a lot of power armor. And actually, I'm going to take off two divisions here. Do that, do that. Because you three will be guarding against down here. And then we'll go to Tantalus's pain. And then you shall come down here. That would be very bueno. Now we can let time go on. Uh, there you go. I would love some gunships. I would love, 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 love the gunships. Love it, love it, love it. So much. Oh, righty tighty. One moment. <coughs> Woo! All right, senators, elves. My apologies, my cat wanted to come into the room. Right, S Senator Binky. A tale of FEV and elves. It wasn't just Mr. Claus who experienced great change during his isolation. His elves, the faithful descendants of his less than well-intentioned caretakers, had undergone a dramatic transformation of their own. Exposed to a high concentration of leaked, airborne FEV for decades, the residents of the hidden lab evolved into unsightly little creatures. Squat but strong, smaller than a man but able to bend steel, these horrid little monsters loved Mr. Claus more than anything else in the world. When he awoke, Senator Claus discovered his elves waiting for him, but they were different from the elves he knew from the elves in the stories his feverish mind concocted for his own benefit. In the stories he knew, elves were nothing more than small adults in quaint green clothing who made toys and gifts in his workshop. Now, however, they were mean, green, present wrapping machines, and more than that, unlike normal elves, they were much stronger, smarter, or faster. Well, we like our fast elves, but we already have... D division speed's okay, not great. If I could choose something else, I will. 
Smarter, we already have enough research speed as is, but stronger, more organization and division defense. We're gonna use we gonna need that division organization because of the land doctrine that we have chosen. Now, for some reason, we have outdated equipment and production. Gunships are outdated. Please tell me what else I can research here besides gunships and transports and power armor. Yeah, nope, not gonna switch out of that. Cool. A Christmas miracle. Senator Claus has returned and the Wasteland must know. Tonight is a very special occasion. The elves of the workshop have prepared everything for a truly magnificent speech. Now all that's left is for Mr. Claus to address the entire Wasteland. And we shall see what the fruits will be of that speech. And let's see, we have a little bit of political power. 1.5 for a day. Um, Hinchy Wilson sounds like a very fun person to get. Christmas Miracle, good. I would like Adam Claiborne, Claiborne for Land Doctrine Research, good. Military Staff is okay. Um, I'll probably go with West Tech for more reliability. Ar oh, artillery stuff, but let us choose next. So we could repair the workshop for more factories. We could do Panic and Despair, which sounds like fun. Good will, Goodwill and Cheer. I'm going to go with repair the workshop because we could probably start building stuff up. While Mr. Claus was in his deep sleep, the world ended and his precious workshop was ruined by atomic fire. Looters and time itself. Now that he's back in the sleigh, Senator Claus has decided to set his elves to, re to work repairing the workshop. Cool. And that, unfortunately, that takes 60 days, unlike the seven-day focuses earlier. I think it was seven days. But that gives us time. And right now, 60% stability isn't bad. We want, we would like more. I'll probably expel the Rift Draft before anything, just because I want as much stability as possible. War support is very good, because we are kind of naughty. But it's good to raise that up as well. Right now, we have no planes. We have an airbase. Oh, we actually have an airbase. We have no planes whatsoever. No bird birds, no transports. Our navy is lacking, as you can tell. And our army, well, I could train these divisions to be smaller combat width. But they're already veterans. I don't want to ruin them. I really don't. I mean, that's... That's really good. I mean, but it does take a ton of cell uh, usage. Tons of cells to actually use them. Uh, seed selection? Yes. And then I'll do resource or the... I will do the industry tech that gives us multi-purpose equipment. Because right now we get a daily gain of 31. That is not much. Desert Rangers declare war on jackals. The cause is still here. Yeah, let's see what happens. In Old World Blues, this is the first time I have decided to choose a path for everyone. Oh, what is New Vegas doing? Please tell them they're going to Courier 6. Oh, no. New... Oh, boy. They're doing new management. Nope. They will either do the King or the Joker. It's still here, guys. Courier 6 is still here. Combat language, very good. Ohm's Law. Actually, let's do that, and let's go ahead and grab multi-purpose equipment. It only takes a few days, a few, a few weeks, about a month or so, really. Mm, that North Pole coffee. Good stuff. New Reno, I believe I told you to go Enclave. Salvatore Reborn. Calling in old allies. Oh my goodness. Ah, oh, that will be fun. I could have actually started with Tlalocan exploding first. Like, I think I could have released Maximilian and all them. But, we have repaired the workshop. Ooh, more political power and efficiency cap. Elves on Turbo. Change his name to Senator's Sweatshop. Mm. Panic and Despair. Ho, 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 you're next. Ha, ha, ha. Oh, we actually have factories, thank God, but we need more resources. Holy cow. Oh, my goodness. Uh, we need basic weaponry, I believe, as well. Because these divisions, they still use infantry equipment, so that'll be good to build. We don't need too much. It's pretty easy to build that. Uh, power armor? I'm going to need more power armor, at least. Oh, look at the... Bad, terrible resources. That's so bad. George Hayes. And we need one more here. Abner Belknap. Belknap. Awesome. Let's get offensive doctrine because we like going on the offensive. The strength, though, of Broken Coast. They have maybe up to eight divisions. That's kind of strong. We have no divisions guarding ports, which could be a... Fairly major concern. They have maybe five divisions, seven ships. I don't like our odds there. Reference manual, very good. Engineering, let's go there. I'll uh, do that. 
If anything, our divisions could probably move out fairly quickly. And am I at my special forces cap? Yes, I am. We have negative four divisions we that we can use the template. Yeah, I can't train anything. Oh boy, that is not good. Uh, and I have no. Oh god, yeah, that's not good. Yeah, that's really not good. Uh, civil civilian economy. I want to get rid of. I can only go to limited exports. Oh no, no. Military theorists would be probably pretty good to do. This is. All right. Mm, well, we might as well go with this then. There's not really that many, many more decisions or ways we can go. But at least everyone around us isn't feeling good. Or at the very least, they won't feel very good under Senator Claus. Actually, with these power armor divisions, if I can move fast, if I could cut off a couple divisions there. Uh, if they attack one of my tiles, like they navally invade me, I can always pull off one of these divisions from George Hayes to meet the enemy where they need to be met. Get rid of that. Oh my goodness, I can't even make ships. If anything, at least make longboat. Longboat hulls. That'd be great. Militia training, very nice. Work as needed. Let's get some scout kits because we want to get to some of these minor upgrades eventually. Good, good, good. Uh, I'm going to research colliders as well so we can start doing some land, some air doctrine as well. <clears throat> Excuse me. Are we, are we mobilizing? More men? Huh. Maybe it's because of Naughty. Oh, yep, there's that. And panic and despair. Now let us immediately go for Merry Deathmas. Senator Claus, whilst frothing at the mouth, has declared that the northwestern seaboard of Canada and the U.S. belongs to him and his elves. Messengers sent to protest this statement have come back filled with a disturbing amount of good will and cheer. Nice. And also, uh, I will let you know that we need to unlock five more focuses. I will eventually do Senator's Little Helpers, which adds a bunch of people to our faction. I still want to go down this way so we can get cores on them, maybe, if possible. So, we'll see what happens. I do want to let you know that I plan on maybe doing that. So, but right, anyways, right now, we have, we're actually making a tiny amount of power armor, a little bit of infantry equipment, and some close air support in time, which will be great, great, great. Next up, engineering is okay. Infantry support, oh uh, yeah, we'll get some support equipment. I don't know if we'll really use that much of it. It's still nice to have, though. You're doing well. Naval warfare. Air stuff. Naval stuff. If we're going to have to build ships... Oh, this is all ahead of time. Assault canoes. That's right. The Enclave uses assault canoes. And actually, good. it's a good thing we went with the military land doctrine army XP daily gain guy because I need to lower the... Uh, the remove some of the battalions from our current divisions. 27.5 combat width isn't quite ideal. Ah, flexible designs. Good. This actually will come in handy quite a bit. You need as much energy as possible. Holy cow. You know what? Do another one. Do another one. Convert more. Actually, it would help if we actually had electricity, electricity to do this, but we have six research slots. We'll be okay. Let's go ahead and expel some of the riffraff. I want more stability. Now we only get 1.1 political power a day, but then again, we can't really use very much of it. And when we go to war with, I want to go to war with first the Broken Coast. We'll go with partial mobilization. Oh, or actually, we can go to limited exports to remove some of... Actually, no. Wait, this says you have to be at war and have war economy or total mobilization. To do this, you need more than 6% world tension. Interesting. I might just go with partial mobilization anyways. Actually, what did this... This gave us more entrenchment speed and max entrenchment. So we can dig in pretty darn well. Trying to attack power armor divisions when they're dug in very well. Sounds kind of like a problem. Uh, uh, it takes about five. Yeah, it takes about five. We're close. Merry Deathmas. Glorious. <laughs> the Overclaws lives. Cool, let's do Give the Elves Turbo. I love drugs. Despite extensive repairs, the productivity of Santa's workshop still isn't meeting Mr. Claus's expectations. In order to build enough toys for all the good little boys and girls of the Wasteland, the Senator has decided to give his Elves Turbo. Mmm. 
A steady stream of performance enhancers. Yes, performance enhancers. Should keep everything running smoothly. I love it. I'm going to make some infantry divisions here too. Just in case. Now, before I go to war... I... Never mind. Just go, just go to war. Just, just, just do it. Just do it. Oh, they actually have more divisions than us. Go, go, go. Oh, look at that. The energy cell. It just... We were about two-fifths full, and we got about nine days left. If that's the case, I'm going to pull you off and put you right there for now. Just because if you're not moving, you don't take as much energy cells, and this is good to have a little person in the reserves or in the back to make sure that no one navally invades us. I mean, our divisions are doing well. Actually, if anything... Please don't move, don't, don't move, don't move, don't move. Move that way. Delay the attack for now. Because I want to encircle and destroy. Oh, we have one division moving in. That's good. Be careful. That is my command to you. Be careful. Awesome. Now that's good warfare. Oh, the cause was annexed the Washington Brotherhood. We have ran out of energy cells already. Can I get any more? That's why I'm trying to build up these things Santa's workshop in Santa's workshop as fast as possible. Um, actually, you know what? You know what? Trying to make gunships hurts our energy capacity. Does that? Does it not? Did I just get rid of that for no reason? If we weren't making power armor, we could probably do that, but I need power armor. Hmm. That's good to experiment, experiment with things from time to time. Good. That division died. Uh, now, actually... Yeah, maybe we should come back. Since I don't want to use both of you at the same time. It's just not wise to. Just hold that area. These three divisions can move up pretty darn well. We've already killed off over 230-some of the enemy. Which is great. Which is really, really great. Dawson Landing. They all just get to the port. That'd be great. Good, good, good. Oh, begin a scavenging program? Focus on the internal sphere. Yeah, let's do that. Why not? Oh! And there goes the Twisted Hairs. Very nice. No naval invasions yet, just because I want to keep an eye on Alaska. Good, just keep doing what you're doing, guys. Yes, yes, I know we're out of energy sales, whatever. Ah, uh, support equipment. I love it. Engineering. Ah, go, go for a resistor. And part standardization. Very nice. Assault canoes. That's too far ahead of time for me to really research. Um, go and do that. And then we will do next. This is all really ahead of time. Holy cow. Naval modules. Long range optics. Sure, because why not? I mean, they can't pierce us, which is good. Uh, you, Christopher, you're learning. You're becoming an organizer, mountaineer, infantry leader, infantry expert. Good. Oh, how much power armor do we need? Oh, my goodness. We need some power armor and definite equipment. Oh, if anything, actually. Go ahead and start reducing some of these divisions, because that hurts supply if we keep these guys on here. There you go. That actually helps a little bit. Take one more off, because that combat with was really not good. Now that we don't have a deficit anymore. Oh, we actually have a surplus. Quite a stockpile of goods. Good, good, good. And go with aerial warfare. Oh no, go with specialized warfare. That's much more important. Oh. Do that. Um, scrap motorcycles. We might want to use that. Anything here? Eh, do it anyways, because why not? Ah, no national focus set. Now more tools, more toys. Productivity still needs to increase, and thus, rather than impact the bottom line by giving his elves jet, Senator Claus has decided to set up a second workshop in the far north. Being so remote, it should safely remain out of sight of elves' right workplace inspectors. That's right. I love sweatshops. I love sweatshops. And these hurt my... Um, special Forces cap. That's what I wanted to say. So I'm not going to use them. However, I need to go to war economy, but we can't do that yet. Because then we can go to limited exports. Um, 
resource extraction right now is not bad, actually. I guess for now, I could lower, actually, civilian economy. We get more factories we can use. Well, let's do that first, and then, so we can start building stuff up a little bit faster. But then we'll go to limited exports. Cool. Next up, we're going to probably attack this way. Uh, I actually need you... Oh, well, you're almost there. To attack that way, because I want you to attack this way, so I can make an encirclement of one more division. That'll be good. Rib Breakers declared war on them. That's fine. Hmm, I gotta love that coffee. Good. Because you're going to immediately come here, too. Because you are going to immediately attack that way as well. Uh, good force attack, but I don't want them to run out of equipment that much faster. But we do have quite a stockpile of goodness. If anything, those are by one. No, I just keep it like that for now. Good, you're doing right. Give them a little bit more boost from this side. You're not going to move, but it will be what it will be. Come on, guys, you got this. Destroy these gremlins, these broken coast weirdos. Alright, give it a little bit more time, a little bit more time. Oh, they're throwing in another division. Alright, they have two divisions in there. They've lost... Getting close to 300, we've lost six. Alright, alright. If anything, I could probably throw you here as well. Since we're already out of power cells. Alright, four. Now stop attacking. No, no, don't move. Immediately go that way if you're going to move. Just to kill off that enemy division. That's good. Make them panic. Make them panic. Good. Oh, hold on. You ain't moving, son. You ain't going to cut me off from there. The Enclave's knows what to do. Beautiful. And if you'd like to push me, I'd like to push you. Screw it. You know, just put you back on the front line. We're out of energy cells anyways. There you go. But you're going to come over here anyways. Beautiful. Good. More toys, more tools. Um, I need two more focuses. We can do Goodwill and Cheer. That does give a more organization and stability. But then we can do that. Uh, that's really not worth doing. Just We're not going to use a focus for now then. I don't want to buff my enemies, you know, indirectly. I definitely don't want to do use anything that requires energy. Um, you do that. We'll make a lot of support equipment when we need it. We're going to get a lot of political power very soon. Nice, they continue to attack. we got scrap motorcycles. Um, maintenance companies, yeah, sure, why not? Sounds good to me. If anything... Keep attacking. Keep doing what you're doing. You're doing a great job, guys. Good. Come back down, because I want to make another encirclement. They've lost over 560-some soldiers. Igniting steel. Who are you, Graven? Oh, no wonder you were attacking me more. You have quite the focus on offense. A 60% boost. Good. Good. Okay, let those guys go back. Um, Long-range optics, very nice. Let's get some string telephones, because why not? Look at all that political power. Roll out technology to scavengers. Amen. Amen. I couldn't maybe attack here. You know what? How about we just, in general, just attack? I mean, we'll destroy whatever manpower they have. Yeah. We should do okay with doing this. So... Uh, reinforce rate, smoke signals? Sure thing, buddies. Um, I don't want to hurt my defense, max planning, or planning speed right now. So, we're not going to do that. Season patriotism, desert rangers, vipers, good stuff. Oh, limited exports, let's do that. We might be able to get just a tiny bit more energy, maybe, maybe not. Okay, maybe not. That's okay for now. Next up, we'll do military staff with more offense. It's only 5% bonus, so it's not a huge amount more offense. Good. I'm doing all right. How many divisions do they have now? Four to six, so we definitely have more than them, which is good. 
Does anyone have upgrades? Well, it looks like Christopher Buford is becoming much more skilled when defending. Which is good. And now we have more max planning. Let's get some more def defense and organization. Um, George Hayes hasn't been in too much combat, but how about Abner Belknap? Rear Breaker is very nice. He's becoming more of an offensive general. He is currently learning organization, mountaineer, infantry leader, Buford. Um, all countries join the Northern League. All right, then. Research. Basic tools. Happy 2276, my friends. Happy year. Oh, there's a little flash of red right there. Oh, specialized warfare. A royal joined the Brotherhood of Steel. Interesting. Let's get some more organization. Let's get minimum capacity. Let's raise that up a little bit first. Both attacking. Just mosey on over that way, guys. Mosey on over that way. Losses. 19 versus 608. Not bad. Not ideal, but not bad. Uh, what you could do is help out this direction first, though. Good. Glorious. Alright. Let's raise you up a little bit more, and let's raise you up a little bit more as well. Go right on ahead if you can. Good. This division's almost destroyed. That's good. Thank God. Come over here. Do that. You guys come there. Do that. And once again, we have more Political power, because why not? Offense, yes, more offense. 26 army XP, very nice. Um, motorized divisions, cool. Let's go ahead and start editing this. Infantry. Tohono Nation, infantry, infantry, infantry. I'm just going to call you division. There you go. I could make you right now, but I'm not going to. Um, actually, for now, I love you, but uh, just add the mayor. Maintenance company is good. Next up, uh, industry. Yes. Have we made one of these yet? No, but we will soon. Oh, you're not winning that battle. That is not good. That is not ideal. Come on, Buford. What I want you to do is take these tiles. That'd be good. That'd be very good, actually. You come here, and then you come here to here. We're going to circle maybe that division? Maybe, maybe not? We'll see what happens. I might try to circle both these divisions, actually. So you come here, 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 here. And that's okay. Let them come in. Let them think they can come in. And if they do, that makes it for an easier encirclement. NCR is at war. That's fine with me. That's totally okay with me. Port Maw is joining the Northern League. Looks like the Northern League is getting pretty large. Let's get some storage compartment. No. Wrought iron manufacturing. Roll the technology to scavengers. Yes, please. Good. Now we're immediately getting attacked. We got some smoke signals. Yes. Decryption would be glorious. You guys can get up there. Mojave chapters join the Mojave Alliance. Okay. That's a little different. You're going to attack that way. To help hold everything in line. You're going to move up that way so they don't get any sort of supplies. Which would be good. Pharaoh's declared war on the Shoshone Nation. Pretty normal stuff for us. And we have made an encirclement. It's only one division. And that's okay. Oops. And this is just 10 combat width. They're not going to be used for very much, I'll be honest. I just need some sort of division so I can raise my special forces cap, I believe. So that's good. You guys are doing great. Destroy that one division. Attack that division. It takes quite a while to get... Oh my gosh, we gotta go all the way down to North Coover. Wow, that's a long ways away. Add two of those guys. That'd be good. Nice, we won in that direction. Oh, we were actually defeated. That's not good. We've lost 50 versus 913 because we just finished that encirclement. Good. Let's defeat that division, and then we will call it an episode. Glorious. Now, let's go ahead and hold. Let's reform the front line. There you go. And then we shall pick this up 
in the next episode, like I said a little bit ago. So, guys, hope you enjoyed this episode. It's the first episode with the North Pole Enclave under Senator Claus. I hope you enjoyed it. I really do. I know I did, but if you did, perhaps leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and I will see you all tomorrow as we shall continue to expand the Enclave's reach in the far north. Thanks for watching, and have a great, great day.